Uh, how to choose the one? Okay, recording now. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, uh, the time is 12 30 or half past 12. Uh, half to one. That's it. I have to. Uh, we say no, half past 12. Uh, half past 12. <laughs> Ah, é, 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 quando usa tu para, né, para a, a hora da frente, a partir de quantos minutos? O... Excuse me? É, vamos é... por 12 horas. A gente põe teste até é, 12 h 30. Yes. A, a partir, vamos por de 12 h 31, aí é, é tu, one. That's it. Okay, and two, then two one. Meiji trinta e um, down twenty nine two one. Thank you. Okay. okay, Breno, the number three. What time is it, Breno? Uh, it's four fifty. É, ou quarta, a quarter past four. For 15 or a quarter after four. Number four, what time is it, Sérgio? A quarter to three. A quarter to three. Ok, excellent. And... Um, Outro que eu errei aí. <laughs> quarter to three, a quarter to three. And uh, Breno, uh, number five, what time no, is it, no. please? Uh, 10 30 10 30 or half past 10 como half past 10 okay okay half, uh, uh, pronounce it half half past 10 okay, okay. excellent difficult easy no é, é só esses detalhes que a gente tem que gravar, né? That's it. Ok. Very nice. Ok, finish? Yes. Yes. All right, that's ok. Uh, let's go, next exercise. Uh, we go page 57, ok? Because we have the simple present tense, remember, uh, um, this is for you, uh, Breno, and uh, for you, Sergio. At uh, the bottom of page 56, we have uh, the, the white questions, okay? Using uh, do, don't, okay? And uh, let me show you here for you, just a second, okay? I'm gonna open this one here. Just a second. Are you open the screen? Just a second. This one here, okay? Look at that. Uh, simple, simple present. This is here. Simple present we have. Uh, do you know what time it is? Okay. I don't know what time it is. Simple past. Did you know what time it was? I didn't know what time it was, okay? So that's the, the bottom of page 56. Now we go to page 57. Uh, we have the complete the sentences, use the verbs in parentheses. For example, letter A, Matt gets up uh, at eight o'clock on Mondays. 
Breno, number two, page 57. Uh, uh, I didn't understand the exercise. Exercise, you have to use the verb, for example, uh, take a look at my screen. My screen we have, uh, he gets up. She gets up. It uh, gets up. Matt gets up. Sergio gets up. Okay. He doesn't get up. She doesn't get up. Etc. I. Deixa eu só te fazer uma pergunta aqui, I ó. Get up. Yes. Ok. Yes. What's the é... question, Sérgio? Do you know what time? É porque já tem... É, são duas perguntas que não inverte aí. Ah, Exemplo. that's it. Ok. Você, é, você só pergunta a primeira, a primeira parte. Então, você, a primeira parte aqui você não precisa inverter. A não ser que você perguntar aí a segunda assim, olha. What, é... What time is it? Separado. Isso. Certo? Se for certo. junto, não. Se for junto, é como você está vendo aí. Aí, porque tem a primeira pergunta, né? Que já... Você sabe. Você sabe que oração? É. Aí não precisa aí, perguntar inverte, de novo. Né? Exatamente. Ok? Ok. Easy? Easy. Let's go, Breno. Did you understand the exercise now? Yes. Okay, for example. What I'm supposed to do with the verb? Yes, that's it. I start, I start, you start, uh, we start, uh, she starts, he starts, okay? Just like that. Ah, okay. Okay, that's it. So, uh, number two. I start to work at 7.30 in the evening. That's okay. What uh, number three, Sergio? We don't take we don't take a nap in the afternoon. We don't take a nap in the afternoon. Okay. Uh, next, uh, uh, Breno, please. Uh, Wendy and Kate doesn't have lunch on Thursday. Okay. I didn't. You please don't. That's okay. Uh. So next. Uh, they who finishes work at two o'clock every day. Mm. Okay. Next. Who sings takes a shower at night? Excellent. Very nice. Okay, now let's go to 57. 57. Unscramble the sentences. Oh, a, a, a six ficou, é takes, é takes, né? Hum? A, 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 a six, é takes. Six, é, number six is takes. Takes, certo. Ok. Ready? Ok, now we go to exercise B, unscramble the sentences. Unscramble the sentences. Okay, who wants to start and scramble the sentences? Okay. Uh, number one, take a nap, I, in the afternoon. So, unscramble, I take a nap in the afternoon. Sergio? Ellen does not start to work at eight o'clock. Okay, excellent. Very nice. And uh, Breno, question number three. We have lunch at 1.30. Okay, next, Sergio. I take a shower every morning. Okay, and now uh, what about you, uh, Breno, the next? Paul finishes works at 5 o'clock. Ah, 
that's okay. Very nice. And um, uh, what about you, the next one? Uh, Me. Yes, please. My father starts work at night. Okay. That's okay. Oh, oh, oh Isabel. Yes. Agora, é isso que me confunde. Hum? É, é, my father. É he, ele. É, porque a gente está falando dele. Ah. É a terceira pessoa. Você está falando dele, né? Outra coisa que me confunde é igual essa pergunta. Wendy and Kate. É, são duas pessoas. A gente está falando deles. Deles. Então, é they. É they, exactly. Perfect. Easy now? Uh, yes. Ah, ok. Essa é a ideia. Ok. Very nice. Continue? Let's continue. Continue. Yes. Ah, ok. Let's go. And uh, conversation now. I will get the conversation for you. Just a second. Let's listen. Uh, audio 25. I'll put this one here. Just a second. Okay, 25. What time do you get up? I get up at 7.30 on weekdays. And on the weekend, I get up at about 10 o'clock. And what time do you go to bed? On weekdays, at about 11 o'clock. But on the weekend, late. Okay, difficult? No. No. Mm, okay, very nice. Okay, finishing this one. And uh, I, need, I need you to repeat. Who wants to be Abel and uh, who, who wants to be Abel and who wants to be Marco? I can be Abel. Okay, very nice, please. Uh, what time do you get up? I get up at 7.30 on weekdays. And on the weekend? I get up at about 10 o'clock. And about time do you go to the bed? On weekdays, at about 11 o'clock, but on the weekend, late. Ah, late. That's okay. And a uh, question for you, Sergio. Uh, what time do you get up, Sergio? I get up at uh, 20 past 6. Mm. Okay. And uh, on the weekend? I get up uh, on... Uh, on Saturday, I get up. On Saturday, no. I get up. Uh, Começa com o sábado. On, get, uh, on Saturday, I get up uh, at uh, uh, half, half past seven. How, how, half, make fun of me, man. Half past seven. Half, half. That's okay. All right. So, and then, um, what about you, Breno? What time do you get up every day? Normally, half, half past 12. Ah, uh, that's okay. And, um, and uh, on the weekend? Uh, half past 12, too. Oh, half past 12? Uh, and during, yes. during the week? Yes. Half past 12? Do, don't you have classes in the morning? I have classes in 1 o'clock. Ah, in the afternoon. Starts only. now. Yes. Ah, that's okay. I understand. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting. Did you know about that? All right, people, let's go. Uh, let's go to page 57, okay? Page 58. 
talk about people's daily activities, okay? Uh, uh, Breno, Sergio, can you give me some examples of uh, uh, people's activity? Run in the park. Mm. Okay, that's fine. Let's take a Let's try to remember something else, okay? Some daily, daily activities. Daily activities. I'm going to show you here a few uh, options of daily activities, okay? Uh, just a second. Uh, I'm going to show you the daily activities, which is nice. Uh, daily routine. Okay, so the daily routine is, uh, the daily routine we're gonna talk. Let's see some of them here. I want you to tell me, okay. This one here. All right, can you, can you, can you see? For example. Yes. Wake up, get up. Go to work. Go to school. Okay, so for example, uh, I will talk about my daily routine. I uh, wake up at six o'clock. I get up at 10 past six. I have breakfast at 7 a.m. Then I go to work at eight o'clock. I go back home around uh, six o'clock. I brush my teeth in the morning. I have lunch at 12 o'clock. I have a shower at 8 p.m. I have dinner at 9 p.m. And I go to bed at 11 p.m. All right? So look, okay. look at the activities here. We have several activities. What about you, Breno? Breno, tell me, explain your routine, please. Uh I wake up at half past 12 and okay. I get up at half past 12. Um, I start my work is in school uh, on one o'clock. I have lunch. You have lunch? On lunch? 12 on half past 12. Okay. I brush my teeth. I have dinner at six o'clock. Um, when I go bed, go to like, bed at uh, two o'clock. Two o'clock. That's okay. Morning. Very nice. All right. Okay. What oh, about oh, you, Sergio? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, wake up and get up. What the difference? Wake up and get up. When you wake up, you 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 become aware. But to get up, you lift you leave your your bed. Uh, sometimes you wake up, but you stay in bed. But when you get up, you go to the kitchen, you go to the bathroom. Okay. Thank you. Então, quando você wake up, você desperta. Eu entendi, eu entendi. É, e quando você, eu, get, você get up... Acordado, eu acordo, é, aí você fala aquela serinha e tal, aí você levanta. Aí é, o get up. O get up, você pode, por exemplo, que nem você está sentado agora. Se você levantar, eu posso falar get up. Entendi. Get up, stand up. Mas, no caso, quem sai da cama está deitado né? e get up. Normalmente, a gente não fala stand up para quem está na cama, né? Entendi. Stand up é ficar em pé, né? E o get up, é. a pessoa levanta, ela senta na cama, enfim. Ok, uh, can you tell me about your routine, Sergio? Now? Ok. Uh, I wake up at uh, 20 past 6. I get up at uh, uh, half past 6. Half Past six. I brush. I brush my teeth at uh, uh, 
Okay. I have breakfast. I have breakfast at seven o'clock. I have lunch at at half past twelve. Okay. I can I. Have a, I have a shower at 6, 6 p.m. Okay. I have a dinner. I have a, a dinner at 8 p.m. Excellent. Pode, pode falar, é errado falar é, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 8 in the evening. No, 8 in the evening is okay. 8 in the morning, 8 in the evening. Uh, okay, that's fine. Okay. No problem. Okay. All right, let's go. So we know your routine now. Okay. Let's continue here. Let's see the, the next uh, activity. Next activity is uh, listening. Look at the pictures. Uh, what is Joe's uh, Joe's job? Okay, listen to the uh, listen to the interview, and then check your answers. Okay, page fifty eight. Page fifty eight. Let me just put that for you. Just a second. Here, what do we got? Just a second. This morning, we have Joel Sartori, the photographer, with us. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, Jane. First, can I say I love your photos? Thank you. So, what is your secret? How do you take such beautiful photos? It's easy. I get up early, like at 6 o'clock, and take some photos. Then. I take a nap at 12 o'clock. You take a nap? Yes, I take a nap. And then in the evening, like about 8 o'clock, I take some more photos. The secret is the light. The light is good early in the morning and late in the evening. I see. Thanks for the tip. All right, so now can you tell me about him? Uh, yes. Okay, so tell me, I would like to know uh, what is his job? He's a photographer. Uh, that's okay. And uh, what kind of photographer? Uh, animal photographer. Yes. What? What? Animal photographer. Okay. Look at this. Can you see the picture here? Look at that. Joel Sartori. Yes. That's the, the, his job. Can you see the animals? Uh, do you recognize this animal, Breno? Uh, no. No, this one here, if you click, it's uh, a fig parrot, Edward's fig parrot. Okay. Mm. And uh, uh, do you know this, this, this other animal here? What animal is this? Um. Chimpanzee? No, this one here. That's a, a mandrill. 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 
Okay, that's a mandrill. All right. This yes. animal? Leon. No. What animal is this? Lynx. No, that's a panther. Puma. Puma. Panther. Uh, panther. panther. Okay. Panther. What animal is this? Elephant. An, ele an elephant, a female. Female, vulnerable African elephant. A okay. female, female, a female, vulnerable African elephant. Okay. Uh, what animal is this? Tiger. It's a endangered male white Bengal tiger. Endangered male white Bengal tiger. He can danger it. Uh, risco de distinção. Um, uh, what, what animal is this? Anta. It's a tapir. A Malaya, a six day old Malayan tapir. Okay. It's an endangered species. Six day year old male tapir. Okay. You see, those animals here uh, are part of uh, Joel Sartori's job. Okay. okay. He's a national geographic photographer and a speaker. Then, uh, when you continue, uh, we see, for example, uh, exercise B. Listen again and answer the questions, okay? Let's stop this one here, just a second. Uh, send that to you. Oh, the photo work. Just a second. Uh, exercise B, okay? Let's go. This morning, we have Joel Sartori, the photographer, with us. Good morning, Joel. Good morning, Jane. First, can I say I love your photos? Thank you. So, what is your secret? How do you take such beautiful photos? It's easy. I get up early, like at 6 o'clock, and take some photos. Then, I take a nap at 12 o'clock. You take a nap? Yes, I take a nap. And then, in the evening, like about 8 o'clock, I take some more photos. The secret is the light. The light is good early in the morning and late in the evening. I see. Thanks for the tip. Okay, question number one, Sergio. Exercise B. What is Joy's job? Ah, he is a photographer. He is a photographer. He is a photographer. Yes, he's a photographer, okay. And uh, what about the question number two, uh, Breno, please? Uh, what time does he get at six o'clock? All right, that's okay. Number three, uh, Sergio, please. What time does he take a nap? 12 o'clock. At 12 o'clock. Yeah. That's okay, at 12 o'clock. And uh, number four, Breno? Uh, what time does he take photos? At 8 o'clock. At yes. 8 o'clock, yeah, that's okay. Okay, for example, and now you have the you have the, the, the schedule. You see this schedule here. Okay. Okay, take a look at this schedule. Okay. And uh, answer the questions, for example, pretty simple. Monday. Monday, what happened on Monday? You can ask questions. 
Would you like to know the questions? For example, Monday, what does he do on Monday morning? Me, me. Uh, both, Breno and Sergio. Uh, take beer photos. Yes. That's okay. And uh, what time, Breno? Uh, half past six. Okay. And uh, what happened uh, on Tuesday? What does Sergio, uh, Joel Sartori does? Uh, what does Joel Sartori do on Tuesday, Sergio? Uh, half past seven p.m. Sunset photos at beach. Okay. Que que é sunset? Sunset. 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 In, the morning, in the morning, sunrise. In the afternoon, the sunset. Um, yes. Okay. Okay. Let's go. And uh, Breno. Uh, what happened on uh, Thursday? Uh, 9.50, meet Jane F. Interview. For, okay, for interview. That's okay. And Friday? What about Friday, Sergio? Lunch with Michael. Okay. He has lunch with Michael. That's okay. Fantastic. Okay, let's go now to the pronunciation following intonation on statements, okay? So you will need to do the exercise uh, 27 here. Let me get this one. Pretty simple. Copy link address. I will open here. You will pay attention to the intonation. Is that okay? Pay attention to the intonation. Just a second, I will open here for you. I will... Oh, Rose, essas casinhas aí são onde? Na Bahia? Uh, those houses? Ah, uh, in Italy, Foto. né? Italy. Italy. Yes, it's Italy. Amazing. Don't you, don't you think? Não, mas você fala em, em América Latina? That's okay. Okay, let me see here. Uh, I will open for you and then uh, you will listen, okay? Ready? Ready. Okay, tell me if you listen. What time do you get up? I get up at six o'clock. What time do they have lunch? They have lunch at one thirty. What time does Bill go to bed? He goes to bed at eleven o'clock. What time do you get? Okay, I, I'm going to repeat now. Pay attention because you have to, uh, to reproduce the intonation, okay? Pay attention to the intonation. It will play again, okay? One, two, three. Lunch at 1.30. No, not this one here. What time do you get up? I get up at 6 o'clock. What time do they have lunch? They have lunch at 1.30. What time does Bill go to bed? He goes to bed at 11 o'clock. 
What time do you get up? I get up at six o'clock. What time do they have lunch? They have lunch at one thirty. What time does Bill go to bed? He goes to bed at eleven o'clock. Okay. Now I need uh, I need to read with the intonation. Breno, can you start to read the intonation? Uh, what time do you get up? Uh, I get up at six o'clock. Okay, excellent. All right, what else? Sir, uh, read the number two, Sergio, please. What time do they have lunch? They have lunch at one third. Okay. Uh, can I go to the bathroom? Yes, you okay, can, Breno. And uh, number okay. three, is, and number three, uh, Sergio, please, can you read? What time does Bill go to bed? He goes to bed at 11 o'clock. Uh, that's okay. Not so difficult, right? Not so difficult. No, no. Uh, uh, só uma dúvida. Uh, o Rosbill. Yes. A, a, a frase, ela, então, você cai a, a, a entonação no final da frase, é isso? É exatamente. É, então, é, quando, conforme você vai, é, vai fazendo a leitura, você presta atenção qual que é o, a, 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 a fala da pessoa. Por exemplo, aqui... Na pergunta, né? What time do you, né? What time do you get up? Então ele tende a cair no final da pergunta, né? Mas a resposta também, né? I get up at six o'clock, ok? Entendi. É. Não, na realidade ele não cai, ele sobe, né? Olha, what time do you get up? Ok? Ah, ele aumenta no get up. Isso, a entonação ela vai, ela fica maior na realidade, né? Deixa eu ver aqui. Estou tentando. Você perguntou para mim se aí era o Pelourinho. Está com cara de ser a Bahia, né? Mas eu não tenho, eu não tenho certeza para te falar, né? Se aí é ou não é. Mas está com uma cara de Bahia isso aí. Tá. Está é, tá com uma cara mesmo. Às vezes que é pior. Olha lá. Olha. Eu Mas acho... como está em, em, é, é, como tá em é, usaram aqui a, a, a palavra em espanhol, né? Sexta, provavelmente algum país aí, Chile, sei lá. É, mas é, Latim América, olha só aqui, ó, para você ver. Está vendo a imagem? Estou vendo. Então, aí, é, é, na realidade, eu não sei a perspectiva de onde está de onde aí, né? Poderia dar essa. Não, mas você pode ver, ó. Eles tiraram de lado, assim, ó. Vai ser do, na esquerda, né? Eles... Isso. Exato. Você entendeu? É. É, a igreja ficou. Eles tiraram de. Sei lá de que ano que tiraram. Né? Isso, não dá para saber, porque. Tá vendo? Do outro lado ainda, né? Tenho nem ideia de onde foi para poder aparecer isso daí, né? Aqui. Eu tô lembrando esses lugares aqui, eu passei aqui. Eu já passei aí também. É bonito lá, né? Bonito. Tem muita, muita coisa histórica. É bem legal. É, mas então, eu não consigo localizar conforme tá aparecendo na foto do livro. Não, não, entendi, mas é, leva a gente aqui, mesmo, ó. né? Isso, olha lá. É, em tese, né? Ele está formando a, o 3D, né? Aqui, as cidades que são mais famosas, eles já colocaram em 3D. Mas é parecido, sim. Embora eu acho que, assim, a arquitetura da igreja católica é muito parecida em vários lugares, né? 
Então, São. pode ser que seja uma réplica. A cidade de São Carlos, por exemplo, tem uma... A Catedral de São Carlos é uma cópia da Basílica de São Pedro de Roma. Ah, é? Sim, sem dúvida. Então, muita coisa é reproduzida, né? Eles acabam reproduzindo. Ok. E aí, eu já não sei. Ela tem a Vila Bahia, Igreja da Ordem Terceira Secular de São Francisco, né? E tem toda uma estrutura aí de convento, escola pública, escola né, é, religiosa. Ok. Breno, are you back? Esses dias eu vi o, Eu cruzei com o carro da, do Google fotografando lá os São Marcos. Eles passam, eles vão renovando, né? Porque vai mudando a, o cenário, então eles sempre vão renovando as fotos. Aí, quando eles mandam para o banco de dados, compara. Se não mudar nada, agora se mudar, eles mudam. Tem que fazer a alteração das fotos. Ok. É... Let's go to the next part, ok? É... Let's try to change the intonation. É, Sérgio, you read exercise B. One, two, three. Please, é, read, change the intonation. When Breno comes... Uh, Breno, read it. one, two, three, okay? Let's go. Okay. Uh, exercise B, read. What time does Sal start to work? They start to work at 8.30. That's okay. What time do they get up? They get up at a quarter to seven. What time do you finish work? I finish work at six o'clock. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Deus, só, oh, só que é, só uma dúvida aqui. Uh, uh, uma vez eu vi um videozinho de um cara aí que que faz esse videozinho de inglês e ele estava falando justamente né, da diferença do inglês, da pergunta em inglês e português. Ele falou, em inglês você não precisa da entonação para eles saberem que, era, que é, é uma pergunta. Hum. Ele estava é. explicando isso. É. é porque na pergunta sempre tem é, what, é, a, a, né? what é. o, do, do you, do, do. Sempre tem a estrutura. A estrutura da, 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 da pergunta, ela já dá essa... É, é, já dá essa... Ele já sabe que é pergunta. Exatamente. Você pode falar de qualquer jeito que ele já sabe que é pergunta, né? Exactly. Exactly. Ok? Difficult or no? No. Ah, you see that? Very nice. Ok, então, mas é, é o que ajuda de fato, né? A pessoa saber, né? Se ela tá com a, a entonação correta, né? Cadê o... Uh, vamos esperar o Breno, né? Deixa eu ver se o Breno já vem para fazer a leitura dele. Vou dar uma pausa aqui, né? Uh, what time do you get up? I get up at six o'clock. What time do they have lunch? They have lunch... At one third. What time does Bill go to bed? He goes to bed at 11 o'clock. Ok, excelente. Ok? Very nice. Let's continue. Ok? Communication. Follow these three steps. Communication exercise A. Write two more questions. Answer all the questions. Ask two classmates the questions. Ok? Uh, so get ready, prepare, and then as soon as you're ready, we we start the recording again. Okay. Uh, questions. Uh, what time do you get up, Sergio? I get up at twenty past six. And uh, what time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast at seven o'clock. What time do we start to work? I start to work at nine o'clock. And what time do you take a shower? 
I take a shower at 6 p.m. And what time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 11 p.m. Okay, that's okay. Breno, what time do you get up? Half past 12. And uh, what time do you have breakfast? Uh, normally, I don't have breakfast. <laughs> what time do you start to study? Uh, one o'clock. And what time do you play video games? Uh, three o'clock. And what? <laughs> three o'clock? <laughs> don't you have classes in the afternoon? It's my interval. Ah, it's your break. It's your break. My break. Your school break. Okay. And what time? Do, what time do you take a shower? Uh, half past six. That's okay. Now you ask questions, Breno. Uh, ask uh, Sergio and ask me. Okay. Okay, uh, Sergio. What time do you get up? I get up at. French past six. Uh, what time do you have breakfast? I have breakfast at seven o'clock. What time do you start work? I start work at nine o'clock. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is green. Uh, what's your favorite food? Favorite? Food. Food. Kick a food. 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 Ah, food. Food. My yeah. favorite food. Hmm. Uh, uh, rice and beans. <laughs> Okay. Rice with beans. Rice and beans. Okay, excellent. Uh, who's the, what yes. time do you get up? I get up every day at uh, half past five. Uh, what time do you have breakfast? I do have breakfast at seven uh, in the morning. What time do you start work? I start to work at um, eight o'clock in the morning. Um, what is the city you want to go? I want to go to Bucharest in Romania. Uh, what is your favorite food? My favorite food is uh, 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 Jumilis. <laughs> okay. Yes, Jumilis. Don't you know Jumilis? No. No? Ah, Jumilis. Jumilis, amazing. Amazing, tasty food, okay? I put on WhatsApp for you to see people. Jumilis. Okay? Let me show you here. Jumilis. Uh, open WhatsApp. Take a look. Okay, what's happy for you? Jumilis, okay. Did you see Jumilis? Okay, did you see Brennan Jumilis on WhatsApp? Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's very tasty, okay. Very tasty. That's my favorite food. A cup in the morning and I have Jumilis. Okay, people, let's go. Let's go now the uh, page 60. Okay, page 60 today, we will go and talk about what you do at work or at school. Okay, uh, open page 60. Page 60, you will see, for example, uh, check email. I check my mail every day. I sometimes meet clients. I usually don't go to meetings. I, <laughs> I don't travel a lot due to pandemic. 
I talk to people on the phone every day. I don't go to the bank. I sometimes make photocopies and uh, I write reports frequently. Okay, what about you, uh, Breno? Tell me your activities. Tell me the things you do, the things you don't do, and uh, how often? Uh, I don't check my mail every day. I meet classmates. Um, I go to meetings to do the class. Okay. I don't travel. I talk to people on the phone. Normally, I don't go to bank. I make, uh, I don't make photocopies and I write reports. And you write reports. Okay, very nice. And that, what about you, Sergio? Tell me about your, uh, your activities. I check my emails uh, every week. Okay. I meet my clients every week. Okay. I don't go to meetings. I don't go to travel. Yes. I talk, I talk to people on the phone every, every day. I don't go to the bank. I don't go, I, I, I don't make photocopies. You don't make photocopies? I write your reports every week. Okay. Very nice. So you see, that's their, your routine. Very nice. So let's take a look here, okay? Write the work and the school activities in the correct columns for you. Things you do every day, things you do every week, and things you don't do. Uh, things I do every day. Every day I, I go to work. Every day I write emails. Uh, every day I talk on the phone, okay? Things I do every week. Every week I make photocopies, okay? I go to meetings, okay? I check my emails too. And the things I don't do, I don't travel. Things uh, I don't go to the bank, okay? And uh, that's that's the things I don't, uh, I do every day, every week, and I don't do, okay? Okay. Okay, what about you, Sergio? É, eu, eu não entendi direito aqui. É, aí ele está dizendo a frequência. O que, que você faz todos os dias? O que, que você faz toda semana? E, e coisas que você não faz. Não, mas não é o, o que nós já fizemos agora? É, nós falamos a parte de cima, mas se você quiser separar, você pode também separar. Ah, entendi. Mas se você já... Se você, é, se você quiser repetir não, não. o que você falou... Não, 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 não. Eu, eu fiz separar também. É... Oi? É Breno, tu? Se Breno quiser começar. Uh, things I do every day. Uh, I check my email every day. I think it's just that. Things I do every week. I go to meetings, I write reports, and I talk to people on the phone. Things I don't do. I don't go to bank, I don't make photocopies, I don't travel, and I don't meet clients. Okay, very nice. That's okay. What about you, Sergio? Uh, things I do every day. I talk to people on the phone. 
thing is I do every week. I meet my clients. clients? I write reports. Things I don't do. I don't go to meetings. I don't. I don't travel. I don't go to the bank. I don't make photocopies. Okay, very nice. Okay, you see, easy. That's your routine. Let's go now to the other parts here. Okay, uh, you can make a list of the things that you do at work or at school. Uh, is there different activities you don't do, people? Different activities. For example, here, I didn't mention that I, I cook. I cook every other day. I go to the gas station. I go to the supermarket every week. Okay. Uh, I don't exercise. I should, but I don't. Okay. That's the extra. Exercise B. Exercise B. Uh, Breno, what are the other things you do that are not listed over there? I study, I play video games. Uh, what else? Uh, I think it's that. That's all? Okay. Yes. What about you, Sergio? Uh, in the week, uh, uh, dias da semana é uh, in days or weekdays, weekdays. Ah, uh, weekdays, né? Yes. Uh, on weekdays, uh, sometimes I cook. Uh, to I go to market. Uh, to I go to pharmacy. Uh, drugstore. Drugstore. Uh, I uh, sometimes I go uh, I, I I get my car uh, uh, no, I don't say como que eu levo meu carro na oficina I take my car to the uh, car shop Car shop. I take my car to the car shop. To the car shop. Uh, I don't remember more. You don't remember anymore? Uh, I, 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 Eu também não sei fazer. Eu levo minha esposa no trabalho. I take my wife uh, to work. I take my wife at work. Yes. That's it? Uh, that's it. Ok, very nice. Ok, so that's simple. And now we have the simple present tense, ok? Uh, do you meet clients every day? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay, remember you can use short, uh, short answers, okay? It's possible to use short answers. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you have money? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, does Breno play video game? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, okay? Uh, does, does Sergio travel to Sao Paulo? No, he doesn't. Okay, that's it. People, uh, now we have the last page for today, page 61, okay? Match the questions uh, and answers, okay? Pe page 61, uh, please, number one, Breno, question and answer. Can you do that for me? Um, <clears throat> do you meet clients every day? Um, é isso? A question and then do you can answer according to the answers. Uh, no, I don't never. No, I don't. I never meet clients. Okay, number two, Sergio. 
This Ali make photocops every day. No, no, she does not. Uh, no, it's Ali is a man. Ali is a boy. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Yeah, in this no, case, letter, letter letter E. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Não, mas é, não tem que usar a resposta aqui, não, né? A resposta que está do lado, é a letra E. Yes, he does. Ah, agora que eu entendi. É essa parte que você não colocou para a gente fazer. Eu nem olhei isso aqui, hein? Ok. Yes, he... Ah, entendi, entendi. Breno, question number three. Uh, do Chris and Ellen travel a lot? Yes, they do. Ok, very nice. Number four, Sergio. Does Hillary go to the bank every day? Uh, nah, no, she doesn't. She goes every week. Okay, very nice. Breno, the last one for today. Do you go to meetings every day? Yes, I do. I always go to meetings. That's okay. So we, we stop here and then we have time to complete for next week, okay?